channel. So today I'm with Cassia and we're going to St. Vincent de Paul's $5 fill a bag. Let's go. And we're entering right now in the oh, back. Yeah, this was the <laughs> We're in the sous section Ooh. right now. It's so cute. I kind of want to get these. I think they're my size. Oh my yeah, they're my size. Like That's my deal. I think I'm going to get them. I don't know if I should though because it's like, maybe I don't want to get them because someone did already wear these. But like, it's so They smell kind of fine though, I don't know why I smelled them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you meant like they smell bad. <laughs> Do you reckon AS <gasps> color is like good quality? Yes, get it. Nice. <laughs> All right, so me and Cassia just hung out and stuff after we did the $5 fill a bag at St. Vinny's. I also got new glasses. Do you like them? Pink clear aviators. I had to get my old glasses replaced, you know, the circle ones, because it gave me an allergic reaction. Anyhow, I got all my stuff. This time around was another good haul, guys. Ugh. I got to fill up my whole country road bag, like overflowing. Thanks to Cassia because I got to stuff some of my stuff in her bag. Thanks Cass for letting me do that. Time to haul it up. Sorry I didn't get to film too much in store because honestly, people were just like grabbing stuff and it was kind of hectic. The first item that caught my eye, apart from those really cute slippers, was this Max dress. So pretty. It's like one shoulder kind of sleeve thing. I've been really looking for more formal dresses and this one just fits the vibe that I've been looking for. I think it's like a cocktail dress. Next item, I had to cop another pair of jeans. I think this is going to be a mom jean fit. Honestly, just took it because it's made by cotton on, which is pretty good for me, not going to lie. Like, I think cotton on's pretty swag. Also, just like one distress detail, you know? Perfect. Yeah, isn't it so cute? It's just so basic. Everybody needs a mom jean. Oh, mom jeans are not really trendy anymore, but I personally just love them for the comfort. Next is actually a pant that Cassia saw first, but she ended up not getting it. It's like a corduroy kind of garter pant made by, gosh, I'm really bad at spelling and pronunciation, but it's by this brand. It's by that brand. I look forward to wearing this because I really like the kind of slack looking details on the side. I love the interesting color. I've been trying to um, incorporate a lot more color into my wardrobe actually because I went through a huge black and white phase. So having color in my wardrobe is really something special to me now. It's like the thin corduroy, it's not thick at all. Also, sorry if the lighting keeps changing. The sun keeps on coming and going. Literally, weather here right now is terrible. Sun showering, cl like becoming cloudy, just raining randomly. I don't even know what's going on. Next, all right. So the next item, oh, so excited for this. It is a Glassens cardigan. It's so pretty. I actually tried it on, but look at the color. It's so nice. It's just everything you want. Everything you want, girl. Perfect for autumn season. Next is this hourglass sweater. Isn't it so cute? It's like a two-tone moment. The sleeves are just like different and like, oh, so good. Really like it. I also tried this on earlier. It was really nice fit, quite baggy, pretty Gucci. Next is what I'm really pumped about is this witchery skirt. It's so nice. A little tennis skirt moment, but also not because it's longer than a tennis skirt. It hits my knees basically. You guys can't see, I'm so sorry. If you're wondering if it's real pockets, let me check. All girls know. We don't get real pockets sometimes, which is so annoying, isn't it? Oh wait, it, it is real pockets. It's just not cut up, but I mean, the pocket length is literally as long as my index, index finger, so, oh eh well. Next is this amazing piece. It's like a lime pastel green singlet. It's so cute, knitted, and that's really nice. The brand is H&H, &H, which I do believe this is a warehouse brand, so I'm pretty concerned about the quality on this one, but it's okay, you know, it's okay. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next. It is a Glassens top. It has little frilly bits. 
at the bottom. Ruffles, ruffles, that's what it's called. Ruffles at the bottom. And I like it because it's like conservative in the right areas in the sense where it's not a crop top, but it is still breathable for the summer. And it is a nice v-neck, which I always love, guys. Y'all know, I don't know if you guys know, but I love a good v-neck. This is not a v-neck, but I wish it was. That's why I put on this necklace all the time, just because it just... For my body type, a v-neck is super flattering for my decolletage, so that's why I love it so much. Next is this beautiful cardigan. I keep on getting cardigans, y'all. I just love a good cardigan. Cardigans are so versatile. I have three cardigans that I usually wear as tops, and literally when I saw this, I literally was like, yes, I need to get it right now. It's like such a nice color. It's pretty breathable, so it's not too hot. Like I could definitely wear it in the summer and like in the colder weather. By the brand Unsatisfied. I don't know if that's a legit brand or not, but I really love the bl blood orange color to it. So it's very nice. Ooh. Next we have slacks because of course I love slacks. And I do love my navy slacks that I currently own. And yeah, I was just like, why not get another pair? Like, that's not gonna hurt anyone. Another kind of office kind of vibe. Of course, you know me, I always wear the office clothes. Is this one. What drew me to it was this detail on the button. It's just like literally a normal black blazer apart from this button right here and it just looks so nice to me the fabric feels so nice and cooling I don't know what it's called the fabric but like it's not silk but it's the shiny type I don't know what the kind of fabric is called it's meant for women like you know when you try on blazers you know when it's meant for women because it's more like hourglass shaping as opposed to like broad shoulders people like me that buy suits <laughs> would know like it's just there's a different fit or different cut to it next i have been wanting to get into wearing skirts and shorts recently because i always notice that i'm always wearing pants i need to stem out of my pants era to be honest i picked out this long black skirt oh you can't really tell the details but literally there's like these little buttons like that as a little slit as well it's very office friendly to say the least is this beautiful cardigan it's so nice and long i know it's another black item but of course i have to get black i need to still stick to my roots but it's giving matrix vibes i do not know what the brand is because the person who owned this before cut the tag but it seems like good quality but it's literally it has it has little pockets on the sides as well it has buttons and it literally goes down till past my knee and it's amazing in my opinion. I tried it on as well, looked and felt amazing. So these are my more black items. Um, <laughs> I know I need to step out of the black zone. Black and white aesthetic is literally my safe go-to clothing pieces because literally black and white you can look good anytime. It's just safe, okay? That's why I like wearing it. And also it's just edgy and cute. Yeah, so this one is uh, no brand, obviously, because they cut it off again, but I love the button detailing on it. It is so cute. Look at the button. Yeah, okay. It's a v-neck, which I love, and I love the sleeves. It's so interesting. It's like frilly, it's like a bat kind of cut. I don't even know how to describe it. It's cute. I think it's unique. Ooh, another similar top by Cotton On this time. And it's literally the same, a v-neck, but ooh. Oh, I didn't notice this in the store. Wait, so it's like a v-neck there, but it also has a cutout in the middle. That is so weird. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna pair this. Maybe, I, would, I just thought this was a normal polo top, but apparently not. I guess I can't wear this alone. I was just planning to wear this alone, but okay, maybe I can let that one go or something. I don't really think I need that. The final black item is another H&H brand, which is the warehouse brand. It's just a normal tank top. I just need more tank tops or more summery tops because I realize I don't really have much summery tops and it's getting really, really hot here. Another v-neck. Pretty cool, pretty breathable fabric. I got another 
corduroy pant. Cute, you can't really tell, but it's brown, a dark brown. I love the little back detailing to the pant pockets. As you can see, it has those little studs at the back of them. Another pant piece, tan slack. Honestly, this is really nice, but problem is the bottoms have come undone. I need to fix the bottoms of these. Either like tuck it back in so it's like a slack again or cut it right off. I don't, I don't know to be honest. Second to last item, I have this. Cargo pants, I'm so excited for this. It's not cargo pants, cargo shorts. Because my friend Lara, you know who you are Lara. <laughs> you have inspired me to wear cargo shorts, cargo shorts. I saw these and I was like, copying it. Last item, this coat, this nice trench coat. Trench coats here cost like at least a hundred dollars. So, bruh, I needed to buy one. Look at how, oh, it's amazing. The length is amazing. It's just amazing. The color is amazing. Freaking green. I love green. It has like subtle hints of like orange engraved into the weaving. Oh, so amazing. The only problem is that it has a couple of holes, okay? It has a couple of holes, but that does matter to me and the button is gone. Hello, it's editing me. Sorry, I have to be a little bit quiet. I ended up not getting the coat because I realized that the pockets were cut off. I'm like, how did I not realize it when I was filming? Sadly, I can't keep the coat. Fun story guys, when I was like just putting away my clothes in a pile off to the side Because I had a lot of clothes in hand, right? So I, I was, it was, it, was, it weighs a lot eh? Sorry if there's like glare as well I'm, I'm saying sorry way too much Anyway, there was this girl that literally took from the clothes that I set aside I saw her, she literally just took one of my clothes And it was like one of my favorite tops that I was really looking forward to like i was already envisioning the kind of fit that i would pair it with like with my shades and everything but oh my god i was like i was too shy to tell her like oh sorry like that's mine because like how would she know you know like literally it's just a pile of clothes to the side she literally just took it put it in her bag honestly would have been confrontational but i don't know in that moment i did not feel like confronting her and being like sorry that's actually mine I don't know, I guess she didn't want to give it away either because you know when you're like talking loud? Loud enough for the other person to hear you? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> and she still didn't put it back, she literally just went, popped it in her bag. But, oh well, that's my fault. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you stick around for any other videos that I come out with or watch the current videos that I have on my channel. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, night, afternoon. But yeah, ingat palagi! Bye!